Are you still using Shopify's built-in editor? Don't do that. In this video, I will show you how to go from this to this by setting up the Shopify CLI so you can code locally on your computer. Definitely stick around because at the end, I will reveal a tip to make your Shopify coding 10 times faster. Let's dive in. So before we start, you will need a few things. First, you need to create a Shopify partner account if you don't already have one. This allows you to set up a development store later on for free. Next, you have to make sure that Node.js and a package manager like NPM is installed on your machine. This is required for Shopify CLI to run properly. Finally, you need to grab a code editor. I personally use VS Code, but there are definitely more out there. I link everything in the description below. First of all, let's create a development store so we can work on our theme. Here we can just log in into our Shopify Partners account. And here we can simply move to the Stores tab and click on Create a Development Store. Just fill out all the stuff and then hit Create Development Store. Perfect, we created our development store. So first I want to show you the bad way of customizing or developing on a theme in Shopify. So normally you would go to your online store, to the themes, on whatever theme you want to work on, you just click the three dots and say edit code. Then you will be redirected to this Shopify editor. And let's say we want to change the color of all headings in the store. So we go in here and say one H2 color is red and let's say important just like to show what is happening. So now the headings are in red. But now why this is bad? So first of all, it's super slow and ineffective because you cannot find the actual elements you want to change. So you just like have to put something somewhere and you cannot like really find where things are going. Next thing, the highlighting is really bad. And if you like want to write something, yeah, it's like really clunky and stuff. So we don't want to use this. And also it's super unsafe because you always have to save the changes to see them. And if you work on a live theme, for example, which I would not recommend, you always have to save something and then go back and see what is happening in the theme. So with me showing how it's not done, let's install Shopify CLI and see how we can really do it. First of all, let's open the terminal. So if you use Mac or Windows, that's depending on you. And we can go to the Shopify CLI documentation. The link is in the description. And here are the requirements you need to have. Node.js and NPM and Git is like optional, but you have to first install these two things, which I will not show here. You just have to do it. The links are in here. But to install the Shopify CLI, you just simply have to put this command into your terminal. And this installs the Shopify CLI globally, so you can use it everywhere. So once the installation is complete, you can verify it by putting Shopify version and it should show something in here there's also like a release note and stuff so everything working fine on the next step we want to connect the Shopify CLI to our theme first of all we need to download the code editor then just open the code editor after opening up VS code let's go into a folder that we created after opening up our folder in VS code we can go ahead and open the terminal you can do this by going to view appearance and then panel and this opens up this terminal here and then put in here Shopify theme pull which is the command to pull the theme from a Shopify store. We also have to put the store flag to log in into our store. You can find your store name in the URL which is in my case Bozidev test and put it after the flag. So now it says to run this command log into Shopify. So we first have to log in and use the verif verification code. So we can now press any key. This opens up the verification process. So just log in into your account. So as we can see, this matches confirm and log in. And after this, you can just close the tab again. And here it says logged in. So now it prompts that we can select the theme to open. So we want to pull the live theme, the dawn theme. And now it pulls all the files from the store. So if you can go now here into our folder, we can see that all the files are, were downloaded to our local machine. We can also verify this by clicking on view your theme and it opens up our Dawn theme that we already pulled. So now we come to the actual development part. If you go in here and do the same thing as we did before, by changing the color of all the headings inside our local machine, you will see that if we go ahead and preview our theme, nothing has changed. So to actually develop the theme now, we have to put the command Shopify theme dev. So what Shopify theme dev is actually doing, it creates a development theme for us. And we can also see like share your theme preview in here. So if we had P now, when we open this up, we can see it's a dawn theme, but actually we are previewing the development theme. 
which is not in the actual store, but rather it's created for us to work on the theme. If we go ahead now and put the changes in again, we can see that it syncs all our changes. And when we now go ahead and refresh this page, we can see the headings are now in red color, which is awesome. Every change we now do locally gets represented in the actual development theme. But remember, this is only in the development theme you created. So how can we get these changes into our live theme now? We can go ahead and end this and then we can say Shopify theme push and then select the theme to push to. So we want to push to the live theme, the dawn theme. So it asks for confirmation and we say yes, confirm changes. And as you can see, it's pushing now all the data into the live theme. And if we go now to the live theme, we can say that the color has changed in the live theme now. With the live theme and the development theme and we can push and pull the changes to represent in our theme. Always remember you're developing in your development theme and you have to push all your changes into a specific theme then. These were just the basic Shopify CLI commands for making changes and pushing and pulling these changes to your theme. But you can find many more commands on the Shopify CLI documentation. For example, you can use theme check to check your theme code for errors or theme publish to publish a theme remotely from your machine. Definitely check out all the commands to get the best out of Shopify CLI. And now for the pro tip to make your coding 10 times faster. Let's go ahead and start our development server again. And as you can see, we have this weird URL here. So if we click on this, it's actually the same thing as before, but now when we change something locally, it instantly changes without us have to reload. So we can also say background color is white and it instantly changes without us refreshing the page. Awesome. And that's it. You're now set up to develop Shopify themes 10 times faster, safer and more efficient than others. If this video has helped you, don't forget to subscribe because I will post a lot of these hacks in the future. Let me know in the comments if you have questions or requests for any other Shopify tutorials. Also, don't forget to join my Discord channel linked in the description. Until next time, bye bye.